Hey everyone, it's Sam Mackay from Enterprise DNA here. I'm going to go over something quite interesting today around how tax formulas work. And specifically, we're going to dive into how to calculate totals of averages. Now, this isn't as easy as it may sound. There is just a little bit of work you've got to do in combining some DAX formulas to get this right. But it's actually a really good thing to go over because it teaches you a lot about context, which is a very key concept inside of Power BI. Now, let's have a look at this table. I've set up this table so that we can evaluate. I'll just remove one uh, formula from it, actually. I've set up this table so that we can evaluate what is actually occurring in these in these formulas that we are putting inside this table. So under the context they uh, they are calculating in. Now, first of all, we have a look at total sales here. Right? Now, total sales. Just think about that as just a sum. It's going to be a simple um, sum formula or or sum x formula, which is an iterating function. That's what it actually is in this case. It's a sum x. But basically, just think about it. Uh, think about that it's just doing a, a sum but we are evaluating some logic at every single row because that's what iterating functions do and that's what SumX does specifically. But now if we jump to average X, but you, and you'll see here that when it actually, the, the key point here is when it gets to the total, so what I'm um, on right now, the total of 35 million, what it is doing is because there is no context on that result, it's actually iterating through every single row in the table every single row in the underlying sales table in this case and completing this logic and that's how we get the 35 million now if we move to an average right so I'll go average results and we'll have a look at what formula I've got here it's exactly the same formula exactly the same formula or, or parameters inside the formula all that is different is that we've got this average here right now let's have a look at the total now the total here is going to be what is calculated at every single row of the table just like it is in some x but instead of doing a sum it's actually going to do an average right and that's why we have such a low number here we have 2356 because that's the average of every single sale that has ever happened in, in the sales table because every single at every single row this evaluation is happening it's saving that into memory then going to the next row then the next row and then right at the end it's going to average up every single sale transaction that has occurred and that's why we get the average there but this is the this is the key because this is the key part of this tutorial is how do we actually get this total here because what we want to do is we want to work out a total we want to work out a total of all of our averages okay and I'll show you in a second where this could be um, where this could be useful, but to actually get this, we need to create some different behaviour in the total area. Okay, now how do we do it? Let's let's review the formula that I created here. Now, if we check out this variable, you'll recognise that this is exactly the same. This is exactly the same as what is occurring at. Uh, in, in this particular it's exactly the same formula which is occurring in this part of the table so I'll just drag this down a little bit but what we need to do is we need to do something different at the total now what we can do is if we use this logic if has one value date month and I go date month because that's what's actually in the particular context of this table so it is we are at a monthly context so if, it, if the monthly context has one value then we want to go and evaluate the exact same formula which it which is doing because you see here it's exactly the same but if it's not which means it's basically in the total area then we want to do something a bit different and what we want to do is we want to then use sum x because we want to somehow create a sum of these right and what we want to do is we want to evaluate in the total we want to evaluate through every single month and sum up the average sales this for this this formula up here this variable up here so basically at the total instead of evaluating through every single row of the sales table what we're going to do is we're going to evaluate through every single month which is basically exactly what this table looks like and then we're going to then go and evaluate for every single month what is the average sales for that particular month and we're going to do that for every single month and then save all of these think about the, all of these results are actually saving into memory and instead of doing an average we're actually in this case going to do a sum because it's inside sum x 
and that's how we actually get the the sum total of all the averages so a pretty cool trick right this is very you can replicate this in many different ways and I'm sure you'll you'll be thinking over them right now um, so this is just a uh, I guess you know sort of like a, a combination of formulas or, or techniques you can use to to gr create these average totals and then how we might want to then use this eventually is so in this case what I'm trying to do what I wanted to do here is I wanted to work out well, what is the average sales per financial year so you'll see here that this 28272 is now at every single row and the way I calculated that was I just used the, the all accept and so all I did is I removed context on financial year and that's how this then popped up into all of these then I wanted to work out the percentage per financial year so that's very easy to derive from here all I did was average sales divided by average sales per financial year and you'll see here that we know that this is actually working because this is actually a hundred percent which is as it should be um, so all in all that's how you do it that's how you do it that's how you actually create these calculations and how you create average totals now I know this will be useful to some because I have certainly seen a few questions like this on the enterprise DNA support forum um, so certainly um, certainly I'm hopefully uh, hopefully you you uh, you have found this one useful and can um, utilize this this great logic inside of um, inside of your models it's a re really simple and easy to use pattern so I'm sure you'll find some use for it. Okay, that's all for, for this one. Hopefully you uh, enjoyed the content. If you did, throw us a like on the video. Really appreciate it. And uh, certainly don't forget to subscribe to Enterprise DNA TV. Plenty more content coming out very soon. Okay, all the best.